As homes have grown larger and technology more advanced, lighting has gone from a source of illumination to an important design element. Well, lighting today, it's one of the most exciting periods, I think, in, in the history of the lighting industry. Uh, across the spectrum, there are directions in almost every conceivable uh, way. Which can be as confusing to homeowners as it is exciting. That's where the American Lighting Association can help. The ALA is the trade association representing the lighting industry, from manufacturers to sales representatives to showrooms. The ALA does a very good job of training showrooms, and there is a very elaborate training program that showrooms can uh, involve their, their personnel in, so that when a consumer goes into an ALA showroom, they typically will be able to work with people who are either lighting specialists or certified lighting consultants, and that will allow them to really penetrate into the issues that need to be asked and uh, to do a very good job on their lighting design. The issues can range from how to determine the size of a chandelier. So let's say that a, a room is 12 by 12, uh, you add that up, that's 24, but actually you use that number in inches. So you would say 24 inches would be an appropriate size for the diameter of the chandelier in the dining room. To how to light a room with large windows. At night, if the windows don't have window covering, what you actually see is a reflection of the room. It's almost like a mirror. Uh, a very good technique to resolve that problem is to actually add landscape lighting on the outside because once you put light outside of the space, that actually makes the window disappear and now you have this kind of transformation of the inside to the outside. Outdoor lighting is another area on the ALA's radar. These are projects that can typically be done very easily uh, over a weekend. Uh, landscape lighting typically uses a low voltage system, so it's very simple to just simply plug in a transformer and then run your cable in the yard. Uh, if you have interesting trees, you can use the landscape lighting to enhance the trees. Oftentimes if the house has uh, interesting textures, brick or stone, uh, it's very good to use a technique called grazing where you put the landscape lighting very close to the wall and actually aim the light almost parallel to the surface so that you bring out the texture of that space. You can also add path lights for say sidewalks, uh, driveways, any place that ideally for both safety and security you might want to enhance the lighting outside of your house. A good way to get started is to check out the ALA's website where consumers can find a local showroom or consultant. They can also purchase booklets full of valuable tips on everything from bathroom and kitchen lighting to ceiling fans and energy conservation. What's interesting is, is that many of these new energy efficient lighting sources uh, are really indistinguishable from the older incandescent sources so that the consumer uh, can place these sources that are typically four times more efficient. So in other words, they would be spending about 75% less on their electric lighting costs compared to a standard incandescent. In one of the most exciting periods in the history of the lighting industry, it is yet another illuminating trend.